Hello everyone, the chosen individual here with another video where today we're going to be ex um, exploring a concept that I really didn't want to explore. Is it moving? Yeah, I better not be moving an inch. A concept that I really didn't want to explore due to the fact that I am severely against it. But hey, let, let, let's go and talk about our good friend oil. Oil is a resource that can be found throughout the world. You need one of these, an oil detector. Oh, wait, oil reservoir detector, forgive me. And well, I planted a oil deposit right here. But what you do is that you just click and see where when it says oil, the oil deposit detected directly below. Then what you're gonna want to do huh i wonder what happened over there uh it's been so long i don't remember no not now okay so once you um <clears throat> you know uh identify a point that has an old deposit directly below uh, what you're gonna want to do <clears throat> is grab one of these, an oil derrick, which is gonna require 20 steel scaffolds, 8 steel beams, 2 steel tanks, a motor, a red copper wire, titanium drill, and some steel pipes. And just place it there, right above the block that you detected as oil below it. Just do one last emergency check. There we go. Now, this is going to need several things. Uh, for now, I'm just gonna get rid of these. Also, by the way, there are two types of oil deposits. There's the regular oil deposit and the bedrock oil deposit, which we'll be talking about more uh, in depth later. Uh, let me get a big-ass tank. Natural gas. And uh, universal fluid identifier. Wait, I mean fluid duct. And oh, Jesus. And uh, uh, some red copper wires. <clears throat> and an energy storage block as well will be needed. Mm, there it is. The spark energy storage block. I should have probably organized my hotbar before doing this. I'm just gonna grab an infinite battery. So I need to supply this oil derrick with power in order to be able to. Well, let, let me let me just show you how to set up an oil refinery first. First, you're gonna want to connect your red copper uh, red copper to your oil derrick. Uh, well, you can also just feed a battery into there. And then we got uh, two buffers, one for crude oil and one for natural gas, and three spaces for upgrades. Now, as for natural gas, you're going to want to make a duct in one direction, then a tank or a vent, uh, if you want to make it self-sufficient, I guess. And then just identify that with natural gas, do the same for the tank, and only put an input. And now, um, the natural gas produced by the process of extracting oil will go only in that tank. Now, we've got other business to worry about. We need to worry about our oil. Uh, so let me just get crude and hot crude oil. We need that. Uh, you're also gonna need, um, some solid fuel. Some solid fuel, an oil refinery, and a firebox, and a boiler. So we're gonna grab <coughs> the fluid ducts that come from here. Well, the, the fluid ducts, and we're gonna identify them with crude oil. Then we're just gonna put two little fireboxes here. There we go, nicely done. Uh, just put this one on the left. Okay, and now we wanna place our boilers on top of them. And now, you might think, but Chosen, these boilers are just for water. Clearly don't know, my friends. Hold on, non insinuating your dub. Shift, right click. Oh, sorry. <laughs> just, just right click. And I'll change the type to crude oil. <clears throat> so now what we want to do is uh, link this up just like that. 
uh, identify that with crude oil. And now crude oil will flow into these boilers. Now, we need to get it out, obviously. So let's, let's, um, let's, let's make a little duct over here. Um, and that will get the uh, hot crude oil over to our oil refinery. There you go, hot crude oil. And then this hot crude oil, oh, we also need to supply it with power. So let me just, just put that in there. It's going to make heavy oil, naphtha, light oil, and petroleum gas. And also sulfur. So we're going to need all those components. We're going to need um, the naphtha fuel uh, fluid identifier. The light oil heavy identifier. Did I say heavy identifier? I meant fluid identifier. Um, the heavy oil fluid identifier. There we go. And uh, the petroleum gas fluid identifier. There we go. And now we just need to make some ducts. So on this side, uh, you can make it out of a tiny tank. It doesn't have to be a, a big ass one. And also the tiny tanks look better. They should add more features to the bigger tank. It'll we'll look cooler like that. Link that up. And say this is going to be petroleum gas. So that's not petroleum gas. Now any petroleum gas that flows out of our little refinery will be uh, stored in this tank. Now. Oh, wrong thing. <laughs> I'm clicking with the wrong thing. Uh, we just need to link up another one. This time for, let's say, heavy oil. And now any heavy oil that comes out of our oil refinery will be stored in that tank. I really want to make it symmetrical. Oh, Jesus, I'm going to need a wand really quickly. Be careful not to misclick. Because otherwise it will ruin your recording. There we go. And now we just get rid of that so I don't accidentally right click. We're gonna put a well, it's definitely a bit longer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So thank here. Link that up and say this is gonna be oh sorry. Ah, wrong ones. This is going to be naphtha. So naphtha, anyone know that's how you pronounce it, it's going to flow into that tank from now on. And now we'll just make another one. Um, that feeds, uh, light oil if I'm not wrong. So, yeah. This is right there. Light oil. There we go. Our, our oil refinery is set up. It also creates sulfur. Uh, but you can just take it out manually. It's not honestly big, a big problem. And now, the stage is set. You might want some upgrades on this. And the main way you're going to get upgrades is by three of these. Uh... By these three. I uh, personally recommend an overdrive up, uh, upgrade. Let's go for Mark 1. And also for a speed upgrade. And um, I think that would be it. I don't know if there's any. If there's any. Yeah, that seems fine. Okay. Just place those in there. There we go. And now we just need to supply our refinery. With energy. Should start flowing any second now. Any second now. Did I say it correctly? No. Oh, did not apparently. There we go. And now it should be uh, making a pipe down. There we go. See? And it's 
grabbing it and putting the crude oil in there. So what we're gonna want to do is put some solar fuel into these fire boxes so we can create heat in the boilers to start making hot crude oil. And that hot crude oil will, well, go here, be processed into all its different components. Now it does depend on um, how big your deposit is, it can take uh, longer or less for it to um, uh, for it to empty out completely, but in about, <clears throat> in about, I don't know, I want to say like an hour, the deposits will be empty. So yeah, you can only get a small amount of oil. <clears throat> Uh, per uh, per deposit, and they are pretty rare. But I'm going to show you in a second a way that you can sort of bypass this with the hydraulic fracking tower. I'll just show you in a second. Let's see how those components are coming in. Oh. Oh, duh. There we go. I uh, also apparently forgot to. The. Uh, identify NAFTA. <laughs> there we go. And as you can see, it's also creating sulfur, which you can take out by hand. It's not a big problem. And that is how you make the most basic oil refinery you can find. Uh, you can get. So, I'll just, um, I guess, stand here, um, twiddle my thumbs while, while I wait for this oil derrick to finish, um, to finish extracting all the oil. Okay, so once it finishes, um, uh, it shouldn't pop anything more out, and as you see, it'll display the sign which means no oil. There is no longer any oil uh, that can be extracted. I definitely did not just sabotage my own, um, you know, my own, uh, my own thing. I think these, uh, fireboxes are a bit too, um, slow to keep up, so... You might want to replace them by some other means. As you can see, we have a absolute buckload of resources, including natural gas and oil. So that's a basic, basic, basic oil refinery setup. Now, this video is 18 minutes long. And because I did say I was going to go back to more digestible content, I'm going to leave it here. Uh, you guys can let me know down in the comments or in my Discord server if you would like a part 2, where I showcase the hydraulic fracking tower, the uh, bedrock oil deposits, all, all that good stuff we, we could get down to in part 2. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this guide useful. Uh, you're probably not gonna find nearly as much oil as I did, or as I, uh, yeah, as I, as I found. So, yeah, what I was gonna say, thank you so much for watching, remember to join my Discord, and uh, leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed and found this tutorial helpful, and I am not falling behind, okay? 
I am I am not definitely not falling behind in the in the creative tutorial fashion. It's been the chosen individual, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace out, gamers.